Hey, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today we're going to take what we've learned in our previous lessons about measuring the weight of objects um, in grams and kilograms, and we're going to do some problem solving with that today. So our learning goal for today says, I can estimate and solve one-step word problems involving the metric weights within 100. So our metric weights that we're talking about in this lesson are just grams and kilograms. Okay, remember that grams are used to weigh objects that weigh like a smaller amount or and um, kilograms are used to weigh something that typically weighs more. So let's jump in and get started. You want to find the weight of beans or popcorn and popcorn kernels. So let's take a look. So here's some green beans and here is like a big old pile of popcorn kernels. So right now when you look at these, which ones do you think weigh me more? Do you think the um, green beans or the popcorn kernels? What do you think is going to weigh more? This is kind of just you're just making your best guess or estimate of which one you think is going to weigh more. Weigh more. Okay, so some might be thinking beans and some might be thinking popcorn kernels, and that's okay. So let's jump in and actually weigh them. Um, before we weigh them, though, what do you think we should weigh them using, grams or kilograms? Remember, kilograms weigh things are, are used to weigh things that are smaller um, and probably weigh less, and kilograms are used to weigh things that typically weigh more. Yeah, I think we should probably waste using grams. So let's measure the beans and the popcorn kernels. So here's my green beans. I'm going to say maybe my green beans might weigh, I'm going to make like an estimate. Um, I might say maybe like 20 kilograms, but let's see what it actually weighs. Oh, 28. So that's pretty close. My estimate was kind of close. Now let's use my scale and find out maybe how much we think that the popcorn kernels are going to weigh. Now I know when I handle like hold like a handful of popcorn kernels, I think they're a little bit heavier than just a couple handful of green beans. So I want to estimate maybe they might weigh around, if I know that those green beans weigh 28, I'm thinking maybe 30, 35 grams. That's what my guess is, my estimate. Oh, and they weigh actually 36, so I was pretty close. Um, now, we're going to find the total weight of the beans and the kernels. So because we're trying to find the total weight of the beans and the kernels, what do you think, which operation do you think we're going to use? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? What do you think? Well, we're going to use addition because they're just trying to find the total weight of both of those objects. So I could come up with 28 plus 36 equals blank. So I don't know that yet, so I'm going to solve it. Now let me show you kind of a cool way that you can solve this problem. When I look at the number 28, I think that 28 is pretty close to 30. And the reason why I'm trying to get close to 30 is because it ends in a zero. And I think adding numbers um, to something else that adds and ends in a zero is way easier to be able to solve. So check out how I'm going to solve this problem. I want that 28 to be 30, so I need to break apart this 36. I'm actually going to break it apart into 2 and 34. Can anybody guess why you think I might want to break it up with a 2 and a 34? Why did I pick a 2? Yeah, because when you put 28 and 2 together, you make 30. So then, really, my problem gets a little bit easier because now I just need to add my 30 and my 34 together which is a much easier way to add because it ends in that zero. So you're just adding those tens together and then sliding that four with it, which equals 64. Does that make sense? It's a little bit different way of solving a addition problem, but it's definitely one that might make it a little bit easier for you when you make those friendly numbers. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at another problem. Oh, look at this girl. She has a ride in a roller coaster. Lindsay wants to ride the roller coaster. The minimum weight to ride the roller coaster is 32 kilograms. She weighs 14 kilograms less than the required weight. How many kilograms does Lindsay weigh? So for this problem, we need to figure out our operation first. Are we going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? We have those four choices, right? So what do you think we're going to do? The ride, she has to, the minimum weight is 32. She weighs 14 less than the required weight. How many kilograms does Lindsay weigh? Yeah, I think we're going to subtract too because it's saying less than the required weight. So that makes me think of subtraction. So here's my subtraction sentence. 32 minus 14 equals blank. So we're measuring um, 
in kilograms. That should actually be kilograms. Whoopsie daisies instead of grams, because that would be crazy if she only weighed 32 grams. <laughs> she weighs 32 kilograms, okay? But anyway, so let's jump in and keep going. So let's break apart this 30 or this 14. And I noticed, remember in the last problem that we just did, we were trying to make a friendly number, something that ended in zero. So I want to make this 30 uh, 2 end in 0. So that means I want to make it 30. So I'm going to break the 14 apart into 12 and 2 because 32 minus 2 gives me 30 as my answer. So that helps me to be able to subtract a little bit easier. So now I want to take this 30 and this 12 and I need to be able to subtract those. But that might be a little bit trickier. So I'm going to break apart this number again into a 10 and a two, because 10 plus two equals 12. And now I can take my 30, subtract that 10, and that's so much easier, right? Because we're just counting backwards by tens, which gives me 20. So now I could take this 20 and this two, and I could subtract that and have 20 minus two, which I can count that back a little bit easier, right? And give me 18. So 32 minus 14 equals 18. So that's how many kilograms um, Lindsay weighs. All right, let's jump in and take a look at another problem. So let's measure the weight of a supply box. Okay, so here's my scale. I'm going to plop this on here. And then when I actually weigh it, I'm going to say it's about two kilograms. It's not quite to that two, but it's about two. Okay. So now because I want to find out the measurement or the weight of six supply boxes, how can I figure that out? Yeah, you could just go one, two, three, four, five. There's my six kilograms, right? So what's an easy way that I can solve, um, find out how much six supply boxes weigh? Would I use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? You could use addition, right? You could do two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Or you could use multiplication and just do six times two, right? And what's six times two, friends? Yeah, 12, okay, you can count by two. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, six times. Okay, awesome job, friends, fantastic with that one. All right, let's take a look at another problem. So it says eight chairs weigh 24 kilograms. What is the weight of one chair? So how do you think we could figure that out? If we know that the total weight is 24 kilograms for the eight chairs, what can we use to solve this problem? Yeah, I'm thinking division to be able to find out how much one of those chairs weighs. Weighs. So I'm going to my trusty tape diagram here. Okay, so I want to label this part. I've split it up into eight parts. Why did I split it up into eight parts, friends? Yeah, because there's eight chairs. Okay, so if I bring in to label this, this whole tape diagram is 24 kilograms for eight chairs. So now what I need to do is I need to figure out how many one chair weighs. So each box represents one chair. So there's one chair, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. But I only need to know one of those chairs. So I'm thinking maybe I can use the fair share method where you give each one until you get to 24. So let's try that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so I got to 24, so I'm going to stop. And notice how when you're using the fair share method, you have to put one in a box, each of one in one box at a time. You can't go like, I'm going to put one, two over here, and then three, four, and then five, six. You have to put one, two, three, four, and then keep going until you get all the way to 24. So when I look at this, I'm going to label this one chair that I just put that little bracket there for. So one chair equals three kilograms. Okay, so awesome job solving that problem too. So we did a problem with addition. We did one with subtraction, multiplication, and division. So I think you guys are ready to practice on your own. So great job estimating and solving one-step word problems using different weights of grams and kilograms. You guys got this. You're going to do a great job as you practice today. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for independent practice. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye, friends. <laughs>